Tammy, welcome back to my channel. Today is another full face off. I'm super excited about this one. Today we're going to deal with Tarte Cosmetics. Um, Tarte is not, it's not a brand that I usually run to. Um, I have a few things that I didn't have to buy. I didn't have to buy eyeshadow palettes because of BoxyCharm. I have a sample of the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and a sample of one of their lippies so I'm going to use those but I had to buy foundation I bought shape tape for the first time um, I bought the powder a little face palette eyeliner and eyebrows I was gonna do Too Faced today but I can't find the eyebrow pencil that I bought I think the cats like knocked it off from where it was and I gotta find it so we're gonna do Tarte today but Too Faced is coming up <laughs> Too Faced is a brand that I have a few things from, but that I really like a certain eyeshadow palette of theirs, so. And not to say that I haven't used the crap out of this Rainforest Under the Sea palette, because I have. My, my voice is still a little crazy, my nose is still a little runny, and I just got out of the shower, so my hair is wet. Covered all my bases. So... I'm gonna get in there with my prickle oil. Ooh, ooh, get out of there. This might be too much today. So under my nose is still a little dry, but that patch on my eye that I had for a couple weeks is gone. In editing, it sounds like I'm slapping my face, but I'm not. <laughs> Alright, so the face tape foundation. Let's see if they give any specific instructions. It's supposed to be full coverage, flawless natural matte finish, infinite likes. I don't, I don't know what that means. Does that mean they, they're like, yeah, you're going to totes get likes on, likes on Instagram. Okay, there's no instructions on here if it says it works better with a brush or anything. Most of the time for these videos, I don't do any like research. I just uh, do my stuff because you guys don't always. Uh, I just I just do it. Like I feel like some of you like that I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> I got this shade vanilla, I believe. Oh, light, light neutral 22N. Alright. I kind of want to just use my fingers. What did we use before beauty blenders? We used brushes and those weird triangle sponges sometimes. Oh, it's oxidizing on my skin already. I feel like I look crazy. All right, let's get the sponge in here. Okay. I feel like I got good coverage after my initial little freak out. I should learn by now that like foundation takes a second to kind of blend out and soak in. I still think it looks a little bit orange for me. Maybe you guys can't tell. Maybe I need a new mirror. Like, maybe this mirror is giving me the wrong vibes. Okay, let's move on to shape tape. Now, so many people rave about shape tape. I'm sure you all have seen it by now, or most of you have. I got Fairlight Neutral 16N. Ah! Forgot that this comes with like the biggest doe fed applicator in existence. So I'm just gonna go under my eyes. Okay. 
I guess that blended out okay. I don't feel like I got a ton of coverage under my eyes though for my dark circles. So I might have to go in again. And that time it just really brightened my under eyes. Okay, in the viewfinder it looks good. Let's do one little more swipe over here. I feel like that's going to be something I'm going to have to work with a couple times. Concealer is like now, which is so funny, is kind of a, a, a staple. Like that's like if I'm going to do one thing, it's going to be concealer under my eyes. Like a simple makeup routine would just be like concealer and setting it. Just because I have super, super dark circles under my eyes. Okay, I've got that blended in. So we're going to grab the Shape Tape Setting Powder. Now, Tarte to me is a high-end uh, price point. Pretty much everything is like around 40 bucks. <laughs> like The concealer's 30 I think the foundation was 39 the powder was like 35 I do like the powder though, like the packaging. Come on now. There we go. It's got a pop-up lid with a mirror and a poof. And how anybody and their brother gets these, gosh dang, stickers off here. I'll never friggin' know. Where's my tweezers? Oh, okay, cool. So the sifter on here is a really fine mesh sifter. I like that a lot. So I'm going to use the little poof. I'm just going to... How do you get product out though? Do you put the poof in and then dump it upside down? I, is this... I feel weird and I'm dumb right now. Okay, it's just setting powder. They don't have like um, a... a shade color am i being stupid okay yeah i just poked down in there okay mm. okay i'm not mad at that it's not like super great but I don't like this poof um, I'm gonna grab a brush to set my face works great with brushes it doesn't let too much product get on there but enough to get done what you need to get done so far so good I like that powder so far. I'm gonna put everything back in their boxes though, just in case I take them back. Today's a Sunday, so I'm like super lackadaisical about what's going on. Um, I just have to go pick up groceries in like 25 minutes. So, I was like, do 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 do. All right, let's move on to my eyes. I'm going to grab the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette and also whatever this one was. Um, I don't remember. It was the one I freaked out about. <laughs> but you can see they're like in a similar family so I'm going to go ahead and use both and we'll see where we're at. 
So fluffy brush. I'm going to go, I'll have the names and stuff down below, but I'm going to go into this color here, which is Explore, I believe. This one? No. Yeah, Explore. I'm going to a barbecue today at my sister's house for Leo's fourth birthday. Mr. Leo is four. I can't freaking believe it. My nephews are growing so fast. Landon will be six and Logan will be nine, which, oh my gosh. He graduates exactly 30 years after I do. He's class of 2019 and I'm, I was class of 99. Or he's class of 2029 and I'm I was class of 99. <sighs> Crazy. All right, so I've got decent base on. Dang, looking hot already. Woo! Feeling myself. <laughs> God. I actually think I'm going to stay with this palette, and I'm going to go in with this dark brown here, which is Daybreak. On a flat brush. Lately I've been trying to show you guys looks that maybe only have a few colors in them because I feel like a lot of you have told me that you're intimidated by makeup and you don't know what to do with it and like you'll get a product that I use and you just you feel like you're failed at it. You 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 try to do what I did and you fail at it. You guys realize that I've been like practicing this for two years. Like I, I keep I'm still not good, but like you just have to keep at it. And like I said in my last video, or one of my last videos, makeup's fun. You put it on and you take it off. Like if it doesn't look good, okay, move on. Like I'm actually gonna go in with this shimmer on the top that's Sunbeam. Just kind of concentrate that, concentrate that towards the middle is what I'm going to do. I feel like that's all I'm going to do. Uh, I can do a more drastic look another day, but can you guys even see my face? Is that too close? Like, I want, I want, I want us to be close, but not that close. Okay. Okay, so here's what we got for the eyes. I think it's fine. There's it's it's nothing like crazy spectacular. You don't have to do crazy spectacular every day. All right, we're going to go into the Tarte Man Eater liquid eyeliner. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's focusing on my tattoo. It's pretty packaging but it's just, just a felt tip eyeliner. Ooh, so glidey. That went on really easy. Yeah, and an easy wing too. Okay, let's go do a wing over here. Boom! That darkens it up so much. That's a really nice black felt tip liner. Like, I, I can't say anything bad about that. That went on really smooth, really easy. Boom, boom. I'm going to go in and line my bottom lash line. Line my bottom lash line. Dee 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 I'm just going to take that dark color. Perfect. 
perfection. Let's grab the mascara, or not the mascara, the, don't forget the mascara though, because you guys know I do. Um, here is the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil. It's got a spoolie on one end. What color did I get? Rich brown. So it's just a roll up. There we go. That went on really nice too. All right, that went on really nicely. Oh, got something in this eye. Um, all these products are cruelty free, by the way. But someone was asking me an update on my eyebrows. Um, I just have to fill them in. They still look like they looked when she did them. Um, it's been about six months. I have no complaints. I suck at mascara. I suck at getting it on my lashes and close enough to the roots of my lashes, but not on my damn face. I just I suck at it. There's the eyes. I really, really, really like them. All right, let's move on to the face and the lip, and then we'll be done. All right, so this is the Tarte Hamptons Weekender Contour Palette. So it's got a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight. Okay, the bronzer is called Farmer's Market. I'll try to get in there. Warm up the face a bit. The brush I use is a little big for this teeny tiny palette. There. All right, let's go with blush. I'm going to use this smaller. The blush is called Summer House. There is so much kick up in this pan. It's a little bit insane. The blush is really, really pigmented. Stop it! Such a whiner. that dark spot. Finally, Beach Getaway is the highlight. It's a pinky toned highlight. The highlight looks nice. Um, the only, my only complaint is my brushes are kind of hard to get in these little areas. That would be my main complaint. All right, let's get a lip on. So this is the Tardis Lip Paint. I don't know the color, you guys, I'm sorry. It's very thick. Very thick, very matte. Can you hear her? She is being ridiculous. All right, so here's the look. I don't think it's that bad. Well, it's it's good. I'm not uh, I'm not upset about any of this. And I do. I have a setting spray. So let's try a setting spray today. Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. That's a really a mist.
All right. Uh, so far, I'm liking the coverage of the foundation and the concealer. The powder felt really, really nice. Um, the eyeshadow palettes are fine. They're they're just they're just nude eyeshadow palettes, though. Like. I guess I should have bought something else from Tarte, but I was trying to save myself some money. I should have bought it maybe a different... Wait, maybe I do have... I do. I have this one I could use, but again, it's a nude eyeshadow palette. And... I do have this one, though. It's got some, like, kick-ass colors. So maybe tomorrow we'll do a fun colored look with some of those other eyeshadow palettes from Tarte. Um, but yeah, I do love a nude eye. Like, it works out really well for me. Um, this lipstick is fine. So, let's, I'm gonna go to the barbecue, I'll check in with you guys, and, you know, let you know how it's wearing throughout the day, and then, yeah, we'll reconvene tomorrow, and I'll do a small, quick look for work. Okay, leaving the birthday party. <laughs> me. I think it's wearing really well my under eyes are like a lot there's a lot of transfer but that was my fault I rubbed my eyes a couple times and then I am having a small breakout right here probably from a clogged pore because it was a little warm today I feel pretty oily in this area and down here but I think it still looks pretty good Okay guys, here is my second day of Tarte. I love the face without the foundation. And then here's the eye look I did. <laughs> Just making sure you guys could see. I used that little small colorful palette and just kinda funned it up. Um, I did do purple on the bottom here so that if there is transfer, I can tell if it was the purple or the mascara because I think it was the mascara yesterday that transferred so much um yeah so this is second day of Tarte if we need a third day we can do a third day but I think everything's performing really well the shape tape went on fairly good it looks really dry underneath there but that could just be I'm maybe dehydrated I don't know I did put some primer down so we'll see okay I've had this on for nine hours now this is holding up really really well the eyeshadow still looks great. The brows still look good. There's none of that transfer down here like from yesterday. So that must have been from the eyeshadow that I put on my bottom lash line. So yeah, even the blush and the bronzer I can still see on my face. So I'm really happy with how this is wearing and I didn't have setting spray on today. So... All right guys, here I am again with a full face of Tarte. I even did the foundation. Um, I noticed that it's kind of caking right in this area. So I'm gonna have to watch that throughout the day. But I did change up the palette. I used this one. I just used this color here and this color here for just like an icy look. And then I use this for my inner corner and my eyebrow highlight. Um, this is called the Remix Natural Eyeshadow Palette. Or hashtag Remix Natural. Um, I don't know how this is a natural palette. Because this, this is like poppy. Um, there are other palettes that I have. All these Tarte palettes I got from, these two I got from BoxyCharm. This one I got from Hot Look. And this one I got from BoxyCharm, but from the Boxy Room. And it came broken. See, that one came broken. So they sent me a brand new one, which I gave away and I just kept the broken one. So I'll wear the foundation for the rest of the day and see how it works. If I don't like how it looks today, 
I'm probably gonna return this. Um, the shape tape I think is working really well. I'm like I'm been looking for a good fountain or condition or I've been looking. I've been looking for a good concealer. <laughs> I actually really like their setting powder so I'm probably gonna keep that to be honest with you guys when I started this like this one today I was like Tarte oh my gosh I cannot speak this morning when I started the Tarte one I was like well I'm okay spending this much cuz I'm gonna return most of it anyway probably and then I end up liking the face face products Oh, I didn't put mascara on today. Y'all, how does this keep happening? How do I keep missing mascara? Things are falling. Baby, I love you. But I gotta finish this real quick. Then we can cuddle before I leave for work, okay? Okay. Um, I also... Someone in the comments yesterday on my Milani video suggested I take a spoolie and kind of do that towards the front of my brows. And I think that really helped to kind of make it look a little bit better. Make it look a little more feathered. So thank you, whoever that was. I don't remember your username now. But yeah, so this is another day. Oh, and I changed up the lipstick. I have the tartiest Tartiest, tart, tart, tartist? I think it's tartist. Tartist lip paint in the color Festival. And that's what I have on my lips today. I, I kind of like it. It's like fairly close to my natural lip color. So this is what we're working with today. This is the third day of Tarte. I'm digging it so far. Okay guys, so a little update. I was at the coffee stand this morning and I asked to look at her nails when she took my money and she goes, what foundation are you wearing? And it's like, oh, it's, it's Tarte face tape. And she goes, it looks flawless on you. She goes, I'm looking for a mattifying foundation. So we had like a three minute conversation about foundations and she currently uses the Too Faced one, which I'm going to start. <laughs> that That's my next full face is Too Faced. So <laughs> I'm kind of excited about that now. So yeah, I, she really liked it and I, I'm really liking it today too. So it's that combination of the primer and the foundation, I think. So, okay. I forgot to film this before I left the house, but I'm doing another full face of Tarte. Well, mostly I am doing the foundation with no um, primer underneath the concealer the powder eyeshadow eyeliner not the brows not the under eyeliner not the mascara and the bronzer the blush but not the highlight there we go <laughs> that's where we're at oh and the lip is tart with a little bit of like this elf lip tint that I have that I love but I think we're looking pretty good here is where I'm noticing some issues it's a little bit like I don't know all up in my wrinkles we don't usually see these wrinkles in my forehead but again that could be because there's no primer so I, this, that's what I'm trying to figure out with today's wear test is if it's better with or without primer and then we'll wrap up the video later today Okay, let's do the final thing for this uh, full face. Oh my gosh. So I see a lot of texture on my skin without the primer underneath. So I think this foundation is best with a primer. Um, that Urban Decay one that I used worked really, really well. Um, I'll probably try some more things, but I need to wrap this video up. I've been, what, this is the third or fourth day of full, full face. So um, I would definitely, I, if, I'm gonna continue to use the foundation. The concealer is fine. It's nothing spectacular. It's not like the be all end all like a lot of people made it out to be. Um, I like, I liked the second lipstick that I used. It was a lot better than that small one. Uh, the powder I really like. I like the packaging of the powder. Um, everything else was just kind of like, okay. Um, 
the mascara I thought was kind of clumpy and I had a lot of transfer underneath. Uh, the eyeliner, the eyeliner was really good. It's the Man Eater eyeliner. It was really nice. Uh, still going strong on the fifth day of use. Uh, I wore it the other day without the rest of the full face. But other than that, yeah, I, I think it's hit or miss. So that is full face of Tarte. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We've got Too Faced coming up, Pacifica. I've still got LA Girl. Lots of stuff to go through. So we're going to keep this going. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe again. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.